prove themselves now because of the ratings thing. Yeah, yeah. it might be that. Yeah, it might be, be it. Might, it be might be it. it. All right. Good. Good motivation. Let's uh, let's let's uh, let's start. All right. Welcome to uh, 44 through 35 leave rankings. We have a special guest, Bark Sanchez, who. I don't know who? who this guy is. Yeah, I don't know who, who this is. Like, I only know him Brody. So, who who are you, Bark Sanchez? Um, I'm a professional Super Smash Bros. 64 player. Oh, oh are you yeah. a professional or are you a yeah. top professional? Oh, are you top? <laughs> <laughs> I think it says top professional. I I don't know. Okay. I, 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 mine says. I, I think guess I'm your just a regular matter. professional. I guess the opinions can matter. All right, so. <laughs> let's let's get started on these rankings we have a lot of uh have a lot of online players in this in this bracket which made me happy let's go online a lot of people who started off uh playing online and really surprised that uh some of the people that wrote the blurbs didn't include that because they're like oh yeah these are like online players and whatnot so uh yeah uh not to not to mention Janko has transitioned to a prominent online player yeah seven like i think like seven out of ten here are online players yeah there's there's a ton yeah All seven right. out of ten so so let's get started with uh number 44 which is janko and janko yeah he got his start online he's a uh he's a pikachu kirby main kind of a, like a protege of of revan which is honestly like the reason why he's here is because he did beat Revan at uh, I, Let's Go. I think he was a console player in Ottawa, and then he started playing online. You can correct me if I'm wrong, but I, I'm pretty sure he was uh, he was console. Yeah, it, like, it might be. Might be. Yeah. But yeah, but no. He's huge improvement since he's picked up online, though. Oh, yeah. He's pretty yeah. much like both, because he, he would enter the online tournaments like even a long time ago. All right, yeah, yeah. I'm, lo I'm looking at his, uh, his notable wins. He has Revan and Yobo Light, which are some, like I said, like that Revan win is a big, big, big thing. Like, I was actually at Let's Go when that happened, and like people were freaking out. It's like, oh my god, Janko just beat Revan. Janko just beat Revan. It was, it yeah, was that, was, that was not a good tournament for Revan. I think he got like yeah. 20. Yeah, he also lost to Shalaka, I think. I might have been guilty of um, not, I mean, I counted the win for sure, but not making it as seriously as a lot of people because it's you know a regional stuff this is you know it's basically his yeah, mentor it's like, yeah, it's like mentor, basically. Revan told me before the match he's it's like it feels like I have to play my son I felt so bad <laughs> <for him. laughs> yeah so you interesting that you said that about the regional bias because dark was talking about it too and he considered that also in his ballots like you know if regional head-to-head -head, um yeah. Yeah. It's like the the Lodo Sheer Madness Marbles thing. Yeah. They have that going on as well. Yep, do you but do you feel that Jenko got ranked higher because Revan is stronger than uh uh Sheer Madness? Even though it's Well, I, I, I don't think it's like about him being stronger than Sheer Madness. It's just like Revan is such a good player and uh even though that uh, Revan and Jenko play together, I think people still looked at it as a good win. Yeah. Yeah, and then if you look at his losses, his losses are Lampy, Caesar, and Fire Blaster. So, really, only one bad loss, and you know, Caesar and who Fire is, Blaster. Hmm? Who is Lampy? Lampy's Narwhal's brother. Yeah, Narwhal's brother. Oh, yeah. okay. That's yeah. a that's a pretty bad loss. I think Lampy would would be good if he was active in the scene, but like L Lampy took a game off me at Let's Go. Oh, did he really? Yeah. yeah. Is he a Falcon? Um, all right, so funny story. I thought he was a DK player for whatever reason, so I went Pikachu, but it turns out that he was a Falcon player, and uh, that's why he took a game off me. Like, I missed like the last edge guard, and then he just like up air down beat I mean, down aired me, and then I, I, li I like Robert's Falcon hate. Like, he the instant <laughs> conclusion he jumps to is, Oh, he took a game off someone good, Falcon. Yeah, no, 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 no. I knew he was a Falcon because, uh, from SmashCon 15, actually. I think he got upset in a Falcon Ditto to Banana Bolt. Uh, it's, oh, yeah. it's funny you guys say Lampy because I thought his name was Dr. Iampy because he, he comes online and he has like, he it's like, he doesn't use like the the L with the, the cross. So it's like, oh, Dr. Lampy. I thought it was Iampy. 
Lamp I never thought it was Iampy. Yeah, I, 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 I think that's <laughs> just you, Supa. Supa's good with names, like uh, Yunkwei. I heard I that, that was last actually night. Robert Yo that Young that. I was saying Yunkwei, he was saying Young Q. I don't Young know which Q. one it is. I think it's, it's definitely, Yunkei, I'm pretty it's sure. It's definitely not yeah. Young Q. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's Yunkei. Right, I, it looks like Yunkwei. I was, good, I was glad it's to see Q, him, right? because he it's got his really dudes yesterday. So Lampy apparently wow. beat Brian, so... I mean, not that that's a great win, but it shows that he's at least, like, formidable. I, I didn't yeah, saw Lampy's win. been around a while. Yeah, he has. Um, I know it's not Janko, but I actually had Freya in, in my bet, like, at the, like, the very, very bottom, actually. Yeah, was... I think I had him as well. He didn't make it, though. He didn't make it, so... I had him in the same tier with, like, Dogs yeah. Johnson and, uh, Hipster and... Ah... Uh. The death, the death pool. Yeah, I had him 60th. <laughs> we have someone in Payson in the chat telling us to move on, so I guess I'll do that. He, he's, he's, he's <laughs> the one. Moving on. Oh, moving on, I guess now. Oh, um, moving on, okay. <laughs> let's talk about oh, Hammerheart I mean, for like we could, 20 we minutes. We can talk a little bit more about Janko. We didn't yeah, we didn't actually yet. talk about Janko. Yeah, we actually didn't talk about Janko very much. So Janko at Let's Go, I, I don't know if you guys watched it, but he played Blood Peach, and that was actually a really close set too. He, but he beat Blood Peach. He beat Blood Peach, but I'm like Blood Peach had the advantage for most of the set, and he he made like a really strong comeback to win. Wow. I think that's it's good for him that he played that match. You know, it, Blood Peach is a decent player, and uh, he was ranked right. I mean, yeah, so so that's a ranked. He's an honorable mention, but yeah, basically. Okay, he was an honorable mention. Okay, it's a, it's a it's a win. Jenko had some good results against Yoshi. He he didn't end up beating Fire Blaster, but I think he took him to game five twice, and he beat Yobolite. He's, pretty good Yoshi Slayer it seems. The thing I remember about Janko saying at Let's Go, he's like, yeah, I don't think much people are that good here. I remember him saying that. <laughs> he's very, no, he's very confident, but that's kind of what I like about him. Janko like, said that? I, yep. I was yeah, talking to him after, um... What? After when I play him online, he's so like, oh, you know, I'm not really trying to, you know, I'm not really that good. I'm just trying to have some fun here, you know. Eh. I'm just messing around. I don't know. When I when I, I talked to him at, at Let's Go, he was like really about winning. He oh, really, really? Yeah, he was like very confident. He was telling me he, like he thinks he's better than Fire Blaster and all this all this oh, different man. stuff. Like, yeah. I feel like I wonder if maybe he lost some of that after Let's Go because whenever I play him online, he just goes like Jigglypuff and talks I mean, about how he had like more another, of the game than winning and stuff like that. <laughs> he had another Heartbreaker versus Fire Blaster at uh, was it Gommel? Or Snow yeah, Snow? One of those Gommel. tournaments. It was Gommel. It was Gommel. And it was like, it was actually really sad. I remember watching it with like, uh, I think I was yeah, watching I it with that. Cheers. It was like a reverse 3-0, right? I was watching yeah. it with Cheers at a bar, like in AC, and I told Cheers, I was like, I think Fire Blaster is going to make this comeback, and he ended up making making the comeback. Wow. Was it Pika? Pika? Pretty sure it was Pika, Pika Yoshi. Pika Yoshi. Yeah, Fire Blaster is good at that. It's uh, it's really weird. We were talking about some players about how you know they get motivated. It seems like Janko the opposite. Maybe like, like that Gommel, whatever happened, just like he's just like, oh, I guess I'm not as good as I think I was. It's like, it's I mean, I, I know he doesn't play online seriously anymore. Like he used to enter the tournaments like and play like real characters. Now he kind of just messes around, and goes Samus or whatever character. He still plays online a lot though. Like, yeah, I, I see I, him on server oh, a yeah. lot. Yeah, he plays online. But I, I don't think he takes it as yeah, serious. Yeah, I, I don't know what his, what his mentality is. I, I don't want to put too many words in his mouth, but yeah, yeah, I feel like he's less competitive he, than, than I, you just was. I agree with Robert, and I think Jank is a nice guy, so it's no hate to him. Whatever he does, you know, whatever yeah, he does. He's such a homie. Yeah. Whatever he does is whatever he does, you know. I Another thing is that he, online he doesn't play with, like, his actual controller. Oh, does not I don't know if he changed that, but he played with, like, a really bad... Uh, third-party controller or xbox controller i don't know gamecube controller i remember i've been talking about it let's go so so let's talk about his 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 wins and losses and whatnot like i was kind of surprised to see janko this high i think he's talented enough but i didn't think the results really showed i was really kind of shocked to see that he was this high up i i agree with you i think janko is talented and, and good but it's like that revan win is just like it's just like so big in people's eyes like oh my god he beat revan and revan's probably gonna i don't know of course i think he's gonna be in like the 20s maybe low or yeah the the high 20s i think maybe in my prediction but yeah people look at that and they just think wow that's such a huge win this guy is obviously it, it's really weird because i feel like that happened with a lot of ballots people would like 
look at wins, right? And Dark Horse said this too. They wouldn't look at losses. They would just yeah. say, oh, he beat this guy and this guy beat this guy in the head to head. So he's obviously better. It was really strange. I mean, do do we Janko, know that though. people did that? or? I, I'm, I'm always wondering. I didn't even fill out a ballot. So I, I'm always wondering like, I think they're what, just, what they're people's just... mentality was when they were. He's just thinking it's a trend. Yeah, maybe. I know yeah. Shears, Shears was talking all about like every match he was like, oh, well, that happened at this tournament and I didn't take that tournament as seriously or I didn't take that loss as seriously because of blah, blah, blah. Yeah, I, I wondered how many people actually did that or if they or if they literally would just look at the name and say, okay, well, you beat him. So I mean, so it's like, kind of bad to just look at the name because for all that, we don't really need panelists. We can just like have a system for it that's I, like the whole point of yeah. having a balance to be subjective i i think this year will be a lot better i the, I the only the only time i think i was subjective involved uh dark throwing to Fyro at esb i don't think that moved him anywhere on my ballot but when i was thinking about it i was like oh yeah jason pretty much beat Fyro. oh yeah collusion horse yeah collusion yeah that's like horse. two two incidents of collusion so yeah, yeah dark horse did so much the, well, it's like collusion uh, against it's, himself. Does it's not really like uh Well, he threw no to the public. Sets. Like, I, I didn't know about the Fyro throw, and I didn't know about the Daniel throw either. The, the Daniel one, that was before the clause of collusion killing the COCK was started. So there's no... Like, the, the Florida guys didn't get any um, punishment either. Well, that's definitely against the rules. It wasn't at the time. It, Are you sure it, it wasn't against the global Smash Con rules? I'm pretty sure it was. Yeah, I'm pretty sure there was or nothing to, in to, there to about apply it. for all the games. Pretty bad. It's just like unsport, unsportsmanlike. Yeah, I mean, I I, I, I when agree. you when you throw a bunch of sets, like you you can't expect that to not affect your ranking. That's yeah. just ridiculous. If you're um, throwing sets, it's a loss. I mean. Yeah, let's let's move on now. But yeah, we talked about that plenty previously. Number forty-three, Hammerheart. Again, another online player. I knew Hammerheart back in the day when. He was a. Uh... He used an NES controller. No, he used a SNES controller. SNES. Yeah. yeah. That's a great controller. He had that. like the most ridiculous DI because of it. Uh, the thing <laughs> I just want to say about Hammerheart, his his like troll videos are so funny. He's like he's such he's got such a weird abstract sense of humor that's hilarious. Uh, if you've seen his his Donkey Donkey Konger video, his combo video, it's like the greatest <laughs> thing. And like he used to just troll on uh smash boards about his cool blade clan and everything he's just he's just a stand-up guy and he's really nice too like i'm i'm glad to see him here because i think hammerheart is solid and you know to do as well as he is with like samus and jellypuff too it's really nice and he's online too so so props to him he he really didn't play jigglypuff all that much near the the end of the year um i think for a while i could be wrong but it seemed like he, he was played one samus. game of of Puff versus uh, Lodo. I just want to throw that in there. Uh, so somebody I, can clip that and send it to Hammart. I think that was his worst loss too, right? He had a really good, he had a really good spread this year. He lost to Horby. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, that that was surprising, yeah. but uh, Horby's also th getting better. So that was yeah, Horby's because, good. So they played the day before in the crew battle, and Hammerheart decimated Horby, and Hammerheart told him he's like, "Yeah, against Samus is Kirby. You just got to stay above him." Apparently, Corby took that to heart and gave him yeah. one right back. Yeah, yeah it's I funny because like, oh, after that, I know how to do that. After the um, after the match, after I set with Horby, I was talking to him. I was like, "Oh, well, it's surprising, but uh, Horby's getting better." And apparently, Horby just learned how to edge guard. Like, edge guard Sam is all you have to do yeah. is down air for the most part, Hot's and then so Sam easy. But yeah, Hammerheart, uh, his notable wins are Fire Blaster and Knackle. His losses, SK. Lord Narwhal, Lodo, KD3, Fire Blaster, and Horby. Uh, tell me how you feel about him both winning and losing the Fire Blaster, Bart. Like, do you feel that, like... I mean, he's beaten Fire Blaster multiple yeah. times. Yeah, his record against Fire Blaster is, like, like something like 6-1 six and, six and one or something like that this year. Something crazy. He lost the first at Keystone. He lost one of the matches, and I don't think he's lost one since. I could be wrong. I gotta be honest, and I know he's not he's not on this list. I'm honestly surprised that Fire Blaster isn't in this this, this pairing, I guess. He, he did I'm not bit. surprised. You're not? Yeah. No, he, he I think he deserves to be in the next tier, if you actually, really? like... It, yeah. He's I mean, so he goes to so much, but like... He did attend a ton of times. 
Yeah, he goes to so much, so I kind of give him the benefit of the doubt in some cases. He does have really bad losses, though. He's got wins over, like, Robert, Katie. Nikita yeah, exactly. Once. Um, I mean, I'm in this group, and I beat him once. Yeah, true. <laughs> but yeah, Hammerheart, good job to him. Ultimate homie, online best. Uh, another homie on the list. You know, this bracket so far, like, this list right here, it's just been homie list. Like, I like... <laughs> almost everyone on this list like you know like combo combo's a homie he's, he's he's so nice and he's just like his humor again i just get his, his type of humor uh he, he's he's an enigma though in a way that like you don't know whether if he's gonna pull it out at the tournament or if he's just gonna go like i don't know he's just like i don't care i'm gonna go like donkey kong um his big win this year or last year was hero pie and i yeah. remember I, I remember talking here probably about that and he was he was trying to he was trying to say like oh yeah it was just kind of a fluke i was really tired i don't think he was saying like oh yeah no combo's worse than me i think he was just like saying oh I'm, i was really tired why why that's, i that's teased him about that a bit when i was in california that, that was surprising actually i did not expect that win why why time. does he not have skg listed as a notable win but he has stevie g on there am i looking at the wrong one no i didn't i didn't i didn't make the wins i don't yeah. know who no, I'm here. looking at the site. Like he beat SKG at boss battle, and it doesn't have that listed there, but it has TV. Is right. Stevie G higher? No, no, no. no they were about the same. Four and sixty-three, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. All I right. So low. He, he actually has lost to you. So tell me what you think of combo overall. Is he deserving of a spot, or a little higher, a little um, lower? Well, I can tell you where I had combo. Just give me a second here. So I had combo at about to hurt his feelings. I had combo at thirty nine. Wow. Oh, higher. Oh, higher. So tell tell me your rationale about that and how what you think of combo overall as a player in tournament. Like, I mean, for me him? to like give you like the exact reasoning for the for that specific number, I'd have to like go through all the numbers again. But uh, I think combo is a good player. Um, people say that he only likes to like style and stuff, but I don't know if that's really true. Like he'll actually standard me a couple times in tournament. Uh, when I played him though, he was he had the advantage like every single time in the game, and then I just managed to like bring it back versus him, and that's how I won. What was the matchup? It was Falcon Fox, and oh, like man. every game he had, yeah, I remember. He had watching, like a stock lead. Some of that set, actually. Yeah, yeah, it was pretty close. Um, I think if he just played like maybe a little bit more patient. Then uh, he would have better results, but that's not what he's about. Yeah. And if he just I wants mean, to have fun, then I think his playstyle is fine for that. Do you I mean, think he, he, uh, he didn't have ahead, room Mark. for better results? Like his worst loss was Court, and I mean, I guess he could have beaten Court, but his losses I mean, sheer, are sheer madness was a worse loss. Oh, where's yeah? No, sheer madness. I guess maybe according to these rankings. But I mean, yeah, like okay. on paper, according yeah. to the rankings, yeah. Sheer sheer madness is good. I don't. I think Court was way overrated on here, but we'll get to that in the. Yeah. Uh, yeah, but I think combo, for the most part, my ballot was more like about having bad losses. If you had bad losses, I bumped you down a good bit, and combo didn't have a bad loss. So I think that's why I had him at 39. That's, that's that fair. About that's it. fair. Do you feel that, like, I feel like for me personally, combo's motivation switch. I think overall he wants to have fun, but I think sometimes he wants to, like, prove it too. He wants to have fun and prove that he's good also. He, he wants, wants to win his way. Yeah, he wants, yeah, to, he wants to win his way. Like, there was a couple times where he, like, he would standard me, and then other times where he would do, like, a nair into, like, a falcon kick for no reason. So, very interesting. I I, I, I like his style. I, I, I appreciate his mentality, even though it, it, sometimes some people feel it holds him back, but I don't think it does, in my opinion. Like, I'd like to see him try and continue to play like he is and get good or better, if he wants to. I don't know if that's what he wants to do, I mean, but I yeah. Everyone plays for like a different reason, so as long as losing, you can't like John about losing if you're gonna play a certain way, and he doesn't John, so. Yeah, I think like everyone, he wants to improve, but his idea of like what being good is is uh, different from, you know, tournament you know, standards, edge guards, and whatnot. He just, he wants to improve the way he plays. Yeah, I agree. So yeah, let's, let's move on to, uh, 41 Kimi Maru uh again an online player I actually know Kimi pretty well actually Kimi used to be in this clan called TP with me 
He actually was in in the clan with his brother Hydra too, and we sucked back then. But Kimmy has been Mario since then, since uh, 2008, 2009. He has been a Mario main, tried and true. Um, I've always liked Kimmy for the reasons that you know we kind of played online back then and together. And he's just he's a nice guy, and he his year this year. Um, I, I'm really surprised, honestly, to see him higher than Combo because his only notable <coughs> wins are Mad Rush and Hydra. But I guess his only bad loss is really Detan. So I think on the opposite end for Kimmy, it's like, oh, well, he only lost to Detan. And he beat everyone he was supposed to beat. So I think that's what maybe happened. And I think a little bit of. I know people might deny it, but I, I feel like it happens sometimes. People are like, he mains Mario. So he's like, oh, he's not he's not a Pikachu who, who lost to Detan. Or something like that i don't know i don't think that as much as maybe some of how good he was last year carried over i assume that yeah, i feel like people just all... like if they were putting them in in buckets like i know dark horse talked about this strategy for making the ballots like first bracketing the players and then working from there yeah I assume I for, for people putting him in brackets like they'd put him pretty high up before they even looked at his wins and losses just because He's known as a very good player. Yeah, I actually had a. Kimmy then when you actually Kimmy look at it, it's like he had no bad losses, but his wins are not really anything. So. Yeah, I feel like a lot of his ranking is just kind of people's opinion of him. Because what else do you have yeah, to go on? Yeah, it's at like that really point? hard to to rank someone like him Maru. I actually had him exactly at forty one, but if you didn't uh, like rate, yeah, me too. If you didn't rank him, oh, you did too. Yeah. <laughs> if you didn't uh, base your ballot mostly on losses, then he probably might have dropped because his wins aren't that great. Yeah, but I, yeah, it's it's definitely like always oh, Kimmy. He should definitely be on the rankings. And it's also well, he didn't really have that much bad losses. But yeah, no, Kimmy, Kimmy's definitely good. I'm not gonna say oh he shouldn't be here because he deserves to be on the rankings. He's he's a good player. He's he's you know really made some strides for himself and i hope he keeps it up it's just um, a matter of going to more stuff i yeah. wonder what, what do you guys think about him beating his brother though because that's kind of like a yeah that like feels the same way someone it's you like, play all the time it's it's like one of those situations again hard yeah. to hard to judge that one do you feel that um i know i know i didn't consider it but i feel like some people did look at placements also too like he didn't have any bad placements like 17th and 9th I actually didn't look at placements at all i then, thought about deleting really all the numbers news. thought about one of the, the reasons numbers. yeah one yeah, of the reasons i didn't stuff. look at placements at all is because if you have a good seed which Ki someone like kimmy maru is gonna get you're not gonna have bad placements yeah placements are literally just your seed and then your wins and losses so, so, so how much, how much do you really care about the seed, right? So, respectively. Also, let's... what a picture of him. Yeah, what a great <laughs> That's picture. That's kind of a surprise. At least, uh, no, no melee people are complaining about it on Twitter. Oh, yeah, I think those tweets were deleted. I didn't get to see them. Yeah. I. Uh... All right. Well, yeah. Let's not get yeah, into that. Let's not get into it. <laughs> Kimmy, I wanted to see the drama. Stand up guy. Stand up smash guy. Huh? Huh? Funny? Huh? Huh? What no. about teams? Can you guys want to talk about teams a little bit? Uh, Kimmy sure. Mario and Hydra it's are scary, like a really yeah. good team, apparently. I'm looking forward to, uh, to seeing them play at, at G5 because they're gonna have they're gonna have way more matches against like talent above them than they than they did at Snow. So I think it'll be a good chance to prove themselves what, a little what more. What are the what are the stages? Because I know they did really well on Final Destination. Uh, I think Final D and Battlefield are illegal. I think there's Congo Jungle too. Dream yeah, Dream. Hydra was saying he likes those in teams. Yeah, they, that's where they really thrive. Yeah, um, I feel like we talked about this with Mad Rush too, but did doubles play affect where he was in your eyes? No. Part? No. Mm, not at all. I mean, no, he's so good that... Like he's <laughs> he's so well known for being good that, and a lot of that is for his results in singles, like yeah. last year. That's so. fair. That's fair. Uh, someone who has also been known as good, and also someone who's been around for a while at number forty, is Star King. Uh, Star King, I'm actually surprised to see him this low, actually, because I cons I consider Star King 
much better than this placement, but that's that's a bit of a bias. Like, so, out. like I think he's better than me, so... I think it, Keystone played his in... His losses were so... All these yeah, losses Keystone were... Keystone was basically, like, he had losses to just about everyone. And All I think that's how bad, like, how low you rated him because of that. They're so bad. His spot on everyone's ballot depended on how they valued Keystone. Like, if you mm -hmm. looked at Keystone and were like, oh, wow, these are all, like, a ton of bad losses, then he probably fell a bit. But if you looked at it and then compared to the rest of the results and said to yourself, hey, he looks like he had a bad day, but a lot of these were kind of fluky, then he probably rose a bit. I don't know. The thing about Starking is he's so inconsistent. Yeah. And so, like... Did, did you see Yolo's blurb? It was the yeah. most hilarious <laughs> thing. And his about yours is really funny yeah, too. Yeah, well, well, oh, spoiler alert. About me so later, so yeah. where did you have Star King? Um, let me check. I think I had Star King in like the 30s. I had him a little higher, but not yeah. not a lot. Yeah, I had him a little lower. A little lower? Is it because of yeah, uh, I mean, Keystone? The way I look at it is, like, I didn't try to rip on him too much because of Keystone, but if we're gonna have these matches and then you do stuff like that i feel like you should be like penalized to an extent <laughs> sk says his controller broke mid turny so that's why yeah. i had a bit keystone he, didn't he also lose to uh finio and i don't think his controller was broken at that time he Oof. did he did Ooh. take a bet Oof. he did take a bet in one of his pools matches that he could win with ness and ended up losing oh i remember that i remember that because i remember watching that and then like it's like you were I, I don't remember who said it was like hey man you know you pick ness you know it's your own fault <laughs> yeah it's your own Dude, fault he, okay he, he likes to reference that he six out d tan uh last month but i i did beat d tan and, in the curvy ditto and in, um, might... in the sorry he to also cut likes you to off. pick no, fox go ahead. Really? sorry to cut you off i just want to throw something lose. in there like in the ballot i don't think keystone any of his ma matches had like an asterisk by them no no, no no so it's like if he if his controller broke for some of them I feel like that's data that we need to collect it like in next year. It's if 2017, you should have a backup controller. Come on. I yeah. mean, yeah, Come but on. still. Well, he was playing Hori at the time, right? It's a little harder to get a backup. He found one. He switched to a different Hori. Oh, then, yeah, I don't know. But yeah, I mean, playing with a different controller is really hard, so I can feel him for that. I, I, uh, I have not played SK. In forever i don't think i've ever played friendlies as maybe once or twice oh, i play on i played them like a ton of times at weeklies yeah there. so you think you think sk is better than you robert yeah i think he's better than me but it's so weird because uh if he really wants to win he's better than me but half the time like he'll just go fox and like this fox is terrible so <laughs> Ooh. it's like then it's just free so that's why like that's that's one of the things with you know the keystone is is an example of how variable he is but i think it's wrong to kind of sweep it under the rug because even without it he's super variable and he's known that way you know yeah. there might be a little less evidence of it if you sweep keystone under the rug but he's super variable like i i, so, I, I, I so think that's, about that's kind of his thing and that's got to affect his ranking think about how the event went not necessarily like the exact results so i i look at him like all right, Keystone, he did very poorly. He is prone to do that, so he dropped a little bit, but not in the sense like, oh, he, you know, he lost a protagonist, he lost a Finio, like that kind of way. Yeah, it's, that's really interesting. Uh, so I you guess... didn't count the um, the Finio loss? Like... No, I, I counted them, but not, not, I didn't look at the specific losses. I just dropped them a little bit because he is inconsistent. Right. It's, it's hard to explain. Um, Something that's interesting to me is that Hammerheart has better notable wins, sort of, but Star King beat Hammerheart. Do you think that played in part of Star King being above? Because I saw it a lot in ballots. Like they said, I mean, oh, well, yeah. SK beat Hammerheart, so I guess Hammerheart should be lower than the SK for some reason. When people are so close in a tier, you kind of have to use head to head to make like those type of decisions. Yeah, it's kind of the tiebreaker. Yeah. It doesn't like actually mean that Star King is way better than Hammerheart or anything like that. It just means that you know you have to give that person the benefit of the doubt if you're gonna rank one above the other. Yeah, I think I think uh, we talked about this the first day, but the people in their tiers, everyone has potential to beat everybody in this in this tier, and that's what's great about it. Like, Janko can can beat Robert, and you know Caesar can beat J 
Jenko in the I don't, I don't know how. <laughs> I mean, I'm not <laughs> saying. Oh, oh, Robert. Hold on, wait, wait up a second. <laughs> Not online, he can't. Maybe oh, he's in console. Okay. But yeah, SK, I hope he goes to more stuff. I don't know if he's going to. I uh, hope you go to more stuff, SK. Maybe we can play friendlies at, like, Let's Go 2. I mean, I hope he starts going Fox for real now, so I can copy some stuff. His Fox is so inventive. It's crazy inventive. Inventive? That's a very interesting way to put it. Uh, but maybe he'll, maybe he'll just keep going Kirby so he can beat D10. Before I yeah. move on, I actually want to know what you mean inv by inventive with SK, because we are talking about him. Yeah, yeah, well, I mean, I've played a lot of Fox players, a lot of Fox players, and SK just, almost every time I play him, he'll do stuff that I, I haven't seen before. And there are very few other Foxes that are like that. He's not as fast as, like, Z, but I think he can rival Z in his, in his creativity. His video uh, and the like he's just he's so sloppy like he'll just miss half the Z cancels and then you just throw him off and he dies but he's he's so creative and, and it'll hit you just he'll just hit you with stuff you're like what the fuck I didn't I had no clue you could do that his uh his clip in the ranking video probably has the best combo so far yeah no that was crazy I was like wow that was really good oh not as sloppy anymore well SK I hope hope you move up because I think he's not as sloppy it. wow. So I'm oh, probably really? the worst Z canceler now. Now that Star King is not as sloppy. Cheers. All right, so let's move on. <laughs> Cheers. Let's move on to 39. Another homie, another online homie. Sheer Madness, Grandpa Sheer. Uh, his notable wins are Fire Blaster and Combo, and then his losses are Yulo, Lodo, and Fire Blaster. So really, really weird. We have we had Hammerheart who beat Fire Blaster, also lost Fire Blaster, and now we have Sheer. Could be fire blast but also lost the fire blaster it's we have be... two more people that fall into that category uh, that's <laughs> so less. so oh. sheer this also wasn't on the ballot uh it was a it was a local so it wasn't like a big deal but sheer did double eliminate me after i think it was after ceo oh but, but i beat so him you at, guys didn't play in the turn uh we didn't play at ceo and i think i beat him at uh smash con and then I don't think we played other than that. He always wanted a money match every single time, but like the second I got to Florida. And yeah, got yeah, yeah, I've seen that. Those. But yeah, he did. He did have a couple wins on me at the at the local the next day. Yeah, no, uh, Shears is a. He's he got to start online. He actually, if you read the Smash Wiki, apparently trained Wizzy for for Yoshi. Um, I've always known Shears is just a really good player and. It's really impressive in a way to see him still keeping up with all these youngsters. Grandpa he's Sheer. only getting better too. Yeah, uh, it's crazy. It's crazy that yeah, he's, he's only like getting better. him from like six six months ago or like a year ago. He was like way worse for certain characters, and like he's really grinding certain. Wait, matches, how old like, is he? Like isn't, he isn't he just like in his twenties? He's probably like younger than me at this point. I yeah, I mean, come on. At this point. Now, yeah, at this point, you know, you never know in the future, but... he's, he's got Benjamin Button, and I don't, man. Cross paths. Sheer, yeah, Sheer's really good. Um, I love when he comes on Discord and he's just like, "Who wants to get pwned?" That's like his line. <laughs> he back in the day, he used to just yell it. He'd be like, "Any pros want to get fucked?" Right, right in server. <laughs> oh, are we keeping this PG thirteen? I'm sorry. Any pros want to get get fricks? They want to get fricks. Sorry, Sheer. <laughs> So, so I think he got super motivated after losing to Robert at SmashCon 26. Oh, you yeah. really think so? I think so. I think he's and he's improved like drastically each month since then. He grinds so, online yeah. hard. He's yeah, on yeah. every day. He really he's, does. He's an online hermit, but he's also. I it makes me happy because he's he's like Sheer's always like oh legacy frauds. Sheer is not a legacy fraud. He's he's very yeah, good. His combo game good. is very strong very strong uh lo you actually beat sheer so tell me how you felt about it tell me what you think of sheer i know you think he's good but just tell me tell me sort of like his strengths sheer as a player what is his strengths in your opinion um he's it's kind of hard to like say what exactly i think his like real only weakness which he's gotten a lot better at is that he struggles when people are respawning especially falcon which a lot of people that doesn't with everyone that. yeah a lot of people struggle with that so that, He's been grinding like different ways to get around that. And I think that's part of the reason why our set was so close. Like a while ago online, 
they would be close and there would be days where he'd edge me out but for the most part i would beat his uh yoshi with falcon and then at boss battle he was up 2-0 on me and then uh he got a little sloppy he went fox and people like really called him out in chat because of it because i like four stocked his fox but the thing is his fox when i play him online his fox usually does better versus my falcon than his yoshi so people didn't know that Oh, yeah, um, no, his fox is pretty good, too. Like, yeah, his yeah, fox he, is really good versus Falcon. Fox. He has, like, one of the better foxes, especially his laser game. It's really good for, for certain characters. Have you seen his fox against Kirby? Yeah, his fox versus Kirby, I always, like, I always talk about it. And he's like, dude, I'm not even that good versus Kirby. But I, his fox versus Kirby is amazing. Him and Boom are, are, like, the only ones that actually play the matchup. Everyone else, like, yeah. okay, fox, you know, you don't really have too much, but... But those guys just make it feel impossible for Kirby. His lasers and his up tilts, they're, they're so good versus, uh, versus Kirby. And um, his second is that versus me. Um, he actually had it. Like, uh, I think it was like game three or game... Yeah, I think it was game three. And he just dropped the last combo. And after that, that's when I came back and I ended up winning. Yeah, a little funny trivia. It was I was like standing right next to Lodo in Florida. I'm like, oh, the grandpa's got it. He's going to win. Because he, he was up on you 2-0. And I'm like... After that, you just you just made it back, so I jinxed it. I guess I'm sorry, Florida. It was my fault somehow. Uh, yeah. E even though he lost to me, uh, I think he's getting really good versus Falcon, and um, but I think he's actually really trying to pick Fox versus uh, Falcon. I think he might be done with the Yoshi, but who knows? He, you never know with him. Yeah. He's got, he's he's got really him. good reaction time, which I think would probably help in that matchup. Too. I, um. I, he, I, yeah, he does. And I actually told him, like, when we play and, like, we go back and forth talking about different things, I told him, like, why don't you just reaction Texas more as Yoshi instead of trying to read? Like, do the Wizzy thing where you just react. And he, he kind of just doesn't. It reminds me of D-Tan. Like, what, the two of them specifically when I play them, I get so frustrated because their, their reaction timing on their defensive options are so strong that I feel like I just can't get in when, uh, when I'm down. Yeah, he's notorious about that. Um, he, he also um, he also does a lot of horizontal combos instead of like up air chains like Wizzy, and I think that might like mess with him a little bit. Like he he could do a lot better versus heavies if he just did the standard up air up air up air up smash. And just watch Shears. Shears. Yeah, he, he loves his, he loves his nair combos. Yeah, he loves the nairs into down smash or nair into like down tilt. Those it's, pretty, it's pretty scary as Pikachu, I'll tell you. They're that. they're really good in certain situations, and they're actually better in certain situations than the than the vertical ones. But for the most part, I think doing the vertical ones is better versus heavies. Yeah, and it's that might be something he wants to consider. But Sheer just kind of does what he wants. Yeah. Uh, last thing I just want to say about Sheer is I really appreciate his ethic, and that's probably why he stays relatively sharp because he he is a grinder. He just grinds things out, and that's that's really nice here. Uh, someone who else has been doing some grinding, number 38, uh, CTG. Let's talk about this man and how he could have, he could have just, if only he didn't rest. If only he didn't rest. That was the dumbest thing I think I saw all he, year. He could have done it. And he he could have nared. This guy went to so many tournaments. This man, someone talk about this man, because I'm just going to go on about that rest. Because, like, I was there and watching it, and everyone's just like, he'll never live it down. Ghost he started sleep. off the year beating up on Florida, and that was a good start. Like he beat Marbles and Lodo. I I wanted to see if he could if he could keep going, and I think he 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 racked up some pretty good wins. He had a win over Caesar, pretty big win. Yeah, Czar, Um, he went Mario, and I guess he just wanted to stick it out with Mario. He didn't go Luigi at all. That's good good matchup knowledge from CTG. Beat Shears a couple times too, or a few. Oh yeah, that's notable. So, so where'd you guys uh, where'd you guys have CTG? I had I had CTG around here, and I do honestly think that 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 Z set did help him in a little way, even if it's not on here. That Z, everyone can think about that because he could have he could have had it, and he was so close. And people look at that, and you know, just I think mm. it affected it a little bit, a Maybe. little bit. Maybe for some people, I didn't I didn't count it at all. Yeah, it's like where I put him. I considered it a little bit, but I also like in my head again. I just thought like CTG had had a really good year, and um, yeah, his 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 only really bad losses are Death CPO, Mr. Sir, and Hipster. And 
Um, I mean, that's a lot. That's those a are lot. bad. That's a lot, and I remember, I remember that because CTG and Mr. Sir had like a thing at Let's Go where they did a money match, and then we're slowly yeah, learning pwned. that that Samus pwns uh, Jiggly. But he doesn't, though. I mean, <laughs> she doesn't. Samus does not pwn Jiggly. This is like you just assume this is like just bad, bad knowledge. <laughs> bad knowledge. Yeah, you don't think it's true? No, you can down air Samus as she up B's from the other direction. She turns around. And like, oh, the neutral game's not fire. even that bad. Yeah, I'm not gonna take anything about the matchup. Yeah, I don't know. As, as, good, as good as Mr. Sir and PG are, I don't think that really tells us anything about that matchup. Nah, it doesn't. I mean, I think Star King said in like, Facebook thread that he beat uh, Mr. Sir th in three sets as Puff. So it's like, it's not about the matchup. Yeah, I think, I think like a few months ago, I for sure Puff. Then yeah, Star King like, likes to be beat beat Mr. Sir with basically every character. It's kind I, of his hobby. I think that CGG is deserving where he's at, but if you look at his wins, it's just Marble, Caesar, and Knackle. And like, actually, uh, spoiler, Caesar is above him, despite the fact that CGG beat him. And honestly, like, um, it's not a spoiler. These rankings already released. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> honestly, like, uh, if when we go into it, Caesar's losses are like way better than CDG's who is has literally lost three unranked players well two two so notable wait, mentions you're saying the per, the player with better wins and uh better losses is above CTG I I would Actually, I feel that's that way how it looks I wow, feel surprising way. I would have never guessed that <laughs> I, I had CTG a bit lower. I, I like the dude, but well, yeah, I don't I'm not, like I'm not, I like everyone, I'm not but... sure why he was above, uh, like, Jure Madness. I had yeah. CTG at uh, 42. Yeah, I had him around here. I had him in this bracket. Uh, let me check. Uh, I sent it to Preston. I feel like his losses uh, versus Hipster, Mr. Sir, and uh, especially the, that, that CPO one. Like, I know that CPO is getting better and stuff, but. That's rough. That's a that's a really bad loss for someone in this tier. Yeah, that's definitely really rough. Um, I can see CGG just improving and improving though, because he's got he's got that ethic. Like this was a huge breakout year for yeah, him. Oh yeah, for and he sure. attended so many tournaments. Oh yeah, I, for sure. Um, I was actually a little surprised to see these were all his wins. I, I kind of thought he had more. He had a lot of close sets, like he almost beat Bark, right? And he almost beat Z. Oh yeah. So the... I, Mash conference that was a wild one yeah yeah i feel like that's the case with most people when they saw ctg's ranking they're like what ctg's this low yeah, yeah, yeah but like, then when it was yeah, he might be he might be even like a little clear. bit overranked too, too high like yeah. he might be even a little bit overranked but uh i'm fine with him at 38 because you know we all know he's a good player yeah, yeah. he's a good player and he's just gonna get better uh just let's... needs to clean out those losses yeah he needs to not rest ctg don't rest. Supa wants to make another uh, cheesy transition. I mean, where do you guys player. think he would have been if he would have beaten Z? Then, uh, then it gets tough. I, then it I gets don't think crazy. he would have moved Because he much. still lost to Hipster. You don't think he would have moved much? No. I cause like, he's already pretty high. For, I, I He could have moved above um, Hipster. I don't think he would have gone above Robert. No, I'm he could have been like me, but I'm spoiling. You're not spoiling. They've been released. <laughs> That's true. That's true. All right, so I, let's I, I, yeah, let's move on. 37. Caesar, Caesar, whatever. Uh, notable Bizarre. wins: Fire Blaster, Low, and Marbles. His losses: Shaka, CTG, and Fire Blaster. Man, Pretty this good so losses. are you are you noticing a trend so far? Fire Blaster is losing but beating people. In this bracket. Yeah, we're, there's going to be one more, though. That's three times in a row. Um, Fire Blaster attended a lot of events. Low Rematches are bad. Low thoughts on Caesar? Because he beat, it, beat you at Let's Go. What do you think? So, um, my set with him at Let's Go, I'm not even. I'm not going to John because this is like one of my main characters. I went Fox. I'm not very strong as Fox versus Mario in the matchup. As you guys saw in the crew battle at Boss <laughs> Battle, I got destroyed by Fire Blaster. He like four stocked me. Um, he did beat me though, and we've played after that too. And uh, he beat me again. I went Falcon. Uh, I think Zar is a very good player. Uh, he's like so hard to get in on. Like his defense, his defense game 
is like one of the best I've ever seen, and I I do think he's the best Mario in uh, North America. Yeah, his spacing is so good. Why, why is his win against Janko not listed? Wasn't Janko higher than Marvels? Oh, he he, uh... did, he beat Janko. Let's go. Yeah, he beat Janko at Let's wow. Go, and it was a close set also. Yeah, very so close. We... That was close. Yeah. Huh. He beat Yobo too. Oh, although Yobo was slower than Marvel's. Yo game. Yobo was pretty low. Yeah, uh, yeah, Cesar, I've I've never played him. I'd like to. So he had a pretty solid, pretty yeah, solid year. Solid he didn't have any like uh, decent bad wins losses. and no like, bad losses. No bad like, losses. At all. Yep. He His lost. set. Uh, he also he lost to CTG, right? So. I yeah, mean, that was his worst loss. Yeah. That was his worst loss. I wish he would have gone Luigi. I don't like to make excuses for people when because when they pick their character. But I, I really feel that he would have beaten uh, CTG if he would have went Luigi. But he wanted to play Mario the entire tournament. Um, yeah. We were talking about how I thought Fire Blasters should be in this bracket. But now looking at how many times he's he's won and lost against people, I can understand why he's not here. Uh, I don't have too much else to say about Cesar. So if anyone else has anything or else I'm going to... I'm gonna click the button, do the cheesy transition. Nope. Nope, okay. Oh my god, who's this person? Looks pretty standard who, to me. Who, yeah, <laughs> who the, who's this person, man? Yeah, oh, I don't, I, I don't even want to talk about this guy. Someone else can do it. Do I have to talk about myself? <laughs> yeah, right. you have to talk so, about uh, yeah, I think I had a decent year. Um, it was really defined by SmashCon, where I got pretty lucky, in my opinion. Um, I had a very close set with KD3, where uh, we went we went uh, Pika Falcon the first two games, and I won one and he won one. And then I made the decision to go Kirby game three and one. But it was I was very on the edge, and it was kind of a Hail Mary to do that. I hadn't been practicing that matchup. So... I think if I hadn't done that, I would have lost to KD3 and then I wouldn't have had my rematch with Fire Blaster and I would have been a lot lower despite basically being at the same skill level. So it's pretty interesting. There's, there's a lot of room for variation there and, and it really came down to like one character decision that was kind of So know, when you sketchy. went when you went Kirby, uh what was the matchup then? So so I had um I won game one, so it was my counter pick against this Falcon. But at that time, like pretty much the whole year, I'd been grinding Pikachu versus Falcon. I, I really hadn't been. So wait, did you Falcon. did you two zero? No, no, no. It was two one. I won game one, then he won game two in Pika Falcon, and then game three oh, he okay. stayed Falcon, and and I kind of that makes sense. Yeah. Uh, so he wasn't. He probably wasn't expecting the Kirby. Mm, no, although I actually had talked to him earlier in the day, and he had suggested, yeah, yeah, just play Kirby. Robert, when you went, when you played him at Raider Bowl. Um, did you go all Pika? Yes, that was you a fun time. Yeah, yeah, we went all Pika Falcon. We did two best of fives that all went to the last game. Uh, he won 3-2 both times. So I, um, I don't think anyone counted that. I no, 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 but it was it was good to see, like... Those were fun sets, though. You, you rebounded because that was pretty close to SmashCon, I think, no? Yeah, it was like a month before. So, so I, that's kind of like... That's why I didn't go all Pika, but I, it was a tough decision, and I don't really think uh, just that one win is like... I mean, KD3, I guess, is ranked higher than me. Yeah, uh, I do want to talk about you, I guess. I will say that Robert's got, like... I think he has, unfortunately, I think he has the best ethic when it comes to, like, just grinding things out, and, like, it's so hard for me to play Robert, because he'll never, he'll never do anything that isn't safe. And it's really annoying. It's the most annoying thing to play against, and I hate it. But it, it's good to learn about. So, Lowe's always. I was me... waiting for the, the backhanded compliment. The backhand. Super. What what yeah. am I always telling you? Yobo's bio of me. I couldn't tell if it was like a bio or a roast. I, like... SK SK. I can't say that. I can't say that. I'd love to. Dude, he knows. I was I was thinking about doing a a roast of all the people in the rank. Oh, that would be a, a long. Super, I'm curious. What did you you mentioned my name? You said I'm always telling you what. You're you're always telling me how you need to play more people like Robert because he's just like, he's like. Akira had a tweet about that too. <laughs> we we I think I don't remember who I was talking to, but we we're like Robert is like a level twenty CPU. <laughs> okay, he's just like a CPU. Okay. He's like a higher level CPU with Pikachu. 
Well, Stud still can't beat him either, so that makes sense. Yeah, yeah. Um, so I, don't, I don't think MVP2 was counted. Well, it should have been counted. I don't think many people know about it. Where I, I went 1-1 one one in sets with, with low. That, uh, low, that, low won the best of five, so... That definitely affected my vote, though. Um, but that was a nice nice win. And so, I beat Dark Horse, and then I lost to him at uh, the next MVP. MVP. So, so, Robert, I'm curious. Um, what play styles do you feel you're bad against? Is it against people who clash with your own, or is it people who are more chaotic and less predictable? I don't know. I... Uh, people are Robert better doesn't than, look at, the, Robert doesn't look at the game in that way. <laughs> he doesn't look at the game people that better way. better than me, I usually lose to. Like, Fire Blaster, uh, I have a really hard time. I've never beaten his Yoshi with Pika. The set I won, all the games I won were with Kirby. But I don't know why exactly I can't beat him with Pika. It's just... He's good against Pika. It's weird, because he's also good versus Kirby. But you managed to do it. Yeah, I, I beat him. Both games I won were with Kirby. And the game I lost was with Pika. Yeah, you, you had a good year. I think you, you deserve to be here. I think I had you around here, actually. Um, also, I'm pretty uh, happy. I, I think the, the ranking was pretty fair. Yeah, for, fair for what I had. Robert didn't get any, uh, any non nominations for content creator? I did. I got one. Oh, you got one? Okay. Yeah, no, I think two people voted me uh, second. Because you did, like, the the Pika Fox one, which was really good, and you also did the... I made a bunch. Plus, I also made the spacing one. I was hoping like, I'd no. get one. Don't yeah, run yeah, all yeah. the way to the other end, <laughs> side of the stage. That's bad. Yeah, did Supa get any? That got a lot of views. I was happy with that. That was really good. I, I really like that one. Um, that was funny. I, 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 on the low, created quite a lot of content. Oh, oh did Robert, did you like mine? The one about yeah, this was yeah, good. That, that was funny. <laughs> this is about math and shit. That was hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so I want to read Yobo's blur about Robert because it's the funniest thing. Robert, I knew, I knew this was coming. Robert, was or as his it. fans know him, Mr. Fundamentals Driven is a Pikachu <laughs> main who straddles the Northern Virginia upstate New York and online scenes. Robert continued his steady rise in 2017 with a number of solid placements and set wins. His gamer tag is the perfect expression of his deep seated hatred of human <laughs> frivolity such as creativity <laughs> or playing for fun. <laughs> as, as such, he is well known as a vocal critic of the pervasive culture of flashiness in the North American metagame. Needless to say, Robert doesn't press lots of buttons. Rather, his strength as a player <laughs> stems from his cerebral approach to the game, breaking down situations into standard templates and branching decision trees. Logically, Robert's thorough commitment to total rationality also demands that he that he maintain a Kirby secondary, which proved <laughs> instrumental in wins over players such as Fire Blaster and KD3. Do not be surprised if Big Brain Robert ascends to Galactic Brain status. <laughs> <laughs> I I love Yobo. He's so that's, that last that, line was that, the best. That's why I can never stay mad at Yobo. Uh, even when he says like the dumbest crap possible. He's so like, funny. It's, it's always funny, and like I can't. I gotta respect the guy for that. <laughs> so funny. All right, we're we're nearing the end here, nearing the stretch at number thirty-five. Court, uh, solidly carried by his good performance last year. Mm -hmm. I agree. I agree. And you know, uh, you know, a uh, little little guy named Frey beat this guy, beat him bad. Yeah. Uh, let's not let's not do that. Come on. Yeah, yeah. This uh, I I I he has the talent. In but his results definitely not warrant. Yeah. No, yeah. no, I, I definitely think he's a better player than I am. But I I don't know if he should have been I, ranked above me. Yeah, I'd like to see you guys playing Ditto at least. That'd be fun. We played uh, we played in 2016. So his losses, um, Fire Blaster, Frey, Janitor? Janitor yeah, the was like Janitor... A, wasn't at a major. Yeah. Yeah, it's like he both lost. beat and but lost the janitor him, yeah. at, at, at the some other And then uh, he also beat Combo Blaze. Yeah, those are not great wins. Yeah, I'm actually surprised that he was this high, to be honest. I, I, I agree. I kind of feel like he should have been on the previous page. Yeah, I agree, actually. He did. Like, those, had, are where his, um, those are where his wins were. I had court at 45. People people need to understand, too. But yeah. It's like, I feel like people are like, oh, no, court. But it's like, you know, you can court can still be good and be ranked lower and you know yeah. that's the same for anyone on this list honestly 
that's what what I'm happy about with this page is that despite there's being some people that I don't think should be ranked here based on the results, everyone here I am pretty confident that they're talented enough here. There's no one here that's just like, oh, they're they're overhyped for no reason. No, that's fair. That's a good. That's a good so way. yeah, so can we talk a little bit about um his set with Revan? Which is actually he actually had oh, it. Oh yeah, he he had he had one game one at Gamble. He won game one, and then game two he, I think he had it. It was very close, and then he just like jumped onto the stage in SD. Yeah, and, like, I think he had everything... like an up tilt. He had something to, for a setup, and I think he missed the forward air because of that. He like SD right after, if I'm remembering correctly. It just and yeah, that would have been a really big. Uh, win for him. There's a huge yeah. momentum swing too. I know you don't like talking about momentum, but he went from like <laughs> possibly going up 2-0, I think, to just like really falling apart. I mean, that's a little bit different because you, as a player, there's a good chance you're going to be like disappointed in yourself. Yeah. So yeah, in that case, like I that. can see it. Yeah. Yeah, Court, I, I like again, I agree with Robert. He's, he's a good player. He's a great player, actually. Like, um, but his, I don't feel like his results, you know, really, yeah. really warrant where he's at. Yeah, I sorry mean, if that seems harsh. Not not bad for a Pika main, right? Yeah, not bad for a Pika main. Not bad for a Pika main. Um, he's good with the cast. He so, is. So, is, um, he what is. do you guys think about Quartz Link? He he, I was pretty happy to see him stuck with it against Revan. It. It, he went all Link against Revan, but everyone else I think went either Pika or Yoshi. Oh, he plays Yoshi also? Uh, yeah, he, he went Yoshi against, against Janitor. Janitor. His DK is pretty good. He's got all yeah. sorts of characters going on. His, I know he has a Kirby. I think his DK one. won. Obviously, he's out here. The, the Yukon. I don't know if that counted. And, um, Court's a really nice guy, too, actually. He was staying with Sam in Michigan, and he, he's actually really nice. And he was, like, always trying to help me out and, like, give me advice and play me and whatnot, so... He, he's a good person. Like I don't. Star, have... Star King's Star King's gonna respond to that very soon. Oh, a, yeah. That tweet that Court made about Star King. Oh, he, oh, he, that, he that, takes, that himself, was he so takes funny. himself seriously. He takes yeah, himself very seriously. Like, but he is a nice guy. He, he also tweeted um, like a couple months before Gommel. He's like, you know, tacos is facile. Something something barks a joke. I'm gonna take Gommel or something like that. He lost the prey. Rough. Yeah. Yeah. That's why I don't talk. His, his matchup knowledge, I, I think, needs some work. Yeah. I mean, but, yeah. But, but from versus Brazil, Ray, yeah, he's, he's just like, eh. He didn't know how to play versus Ness. First janitor, it didn't really look like he knew how to play against Yoshi either. I think that's kind of what happens when you're stuck in like. One but yeah, it, it sucks. Yeah, you don't play he, online. He doesn't have really, fair, really yeah. net play access, and I don't think he has a good Yoshi in his region. So there's limits yeah, on what he can do. His you Yoshi run into is a character, good. and then you just don't know what to do at all. Yeah. So like, even if you're a good player, sometimes you can't close it out for someone that you're better than. Yeah, yeah. All right, so let's let's move back, and I want to talk about um, all the players here, and I did this last time, so I'm gonna keep at it too. I'm going to start with every player, and I want everybody's opinion if they're going to rank up, rank down, or become unranked. So I'll start with everyone here. So Janko, uh, Bark? Uh, if he attends more, he's going up, although he's already pretty high. Okay. I think he'll go up. Okay. Low? Wait, who are we talking about right now? Janko. Janko. Janko? Uh, I mean, it all depends on whether he's going to go to stuff. I don't think Janko is really playing right now. Maybe I'm wrong. I see him online sometimes, but I don't really see him like at tournaments in Canada for the most part. I don't see him playing at the locals unless they're not being streamed. So I, I predict that either he's going to be at the same spot or he'll be a little bit lower if he even qualifies. Yeah, yeah I expect uh, he'll either go down a little bit or, or stay at the same level. I mean, he got here basically based off his one big win over Revan. But that's something you can't really generalize, right? Like, I don't expect him to beat anyone else at yeah. Revan's level. Yeah. So, it, he'll actually face an uphill battle to get the level of skill to even stay at this rank. And I don't know to what extent his motivation... He was really close to two wins against Fireblaster. That's, that's true, that's about. true. Yeah, yeah, he's definitely strong. So, I think if he doesn't, if he wants to, he won't fall, but... I, I, 
I don't expect him to go up a whole lot. At least based on having played him online, it's possible he's a lot worse there. I yeah, I don't know his motivations. I'm only gonna say maybe unranked if he doesn't go do enough things. But yeah, that's that's also awesome. every everything everyone here, honestly, like everyone in this bracket, I can see moving up, like or unranking because they don't go enough things. There's uh, like so honestly, much. Honestly, hmm? a theme a theme with this year's rankings as it gets higher up, <laughs> you'll see a lot of like new talent you think like japan and whatnot and i think there's going to be more of that next year too yeah so it'll you're, be you're very hard to, get, to move up yeah you're gonna have to get better just to remain in your spot for the most part yeah and then if you want to go up you're gonna have to get like significantly better all right all right so so let's move on hammerheart bart rank up down more um that that's tough he still he still struggles against pika um, I think I think it's very that's a that's a bad weakness to have, but it's one that's expected when you play Sam as Jigglypuff. It's a very First hard Pika, character. You think? I feel uh, like that's one of his better matchups. I, I don't really know if that's like. I feel I, like I he struggles that. versus. Uh, what were his losses? He lost to like some Falcons. He lost to Lodo, Narwhal, both Falcons. He lost and to Star King. I don't, I don't know who Star King went versus him. And uh, KD3 or probably Kirby's. KD3 would definitely go Pika versus him because he, he's really good at Pika Samus matchup. And then uh, Horby. Uh, that's the thing, like, um, he was significantly improved when I played him at ESB, but I I don't know how many, like, higher up level Pikas he played throughout the year. And, and I think that could be a real issue if, if he doesn't improve groove in that matchup just a little bit more yeah it's kind of what the puff is for though i guess because uh i don't know if samus is really that great i think it's samus Pika. tougher i think he's better with samus the matchup it, he might be them. but um because like i know fire blaster went pika versus him to try it out and i'm pretty sure hammerheart beat him pretty bad in that oh, matchup dang. not saying that fire blaster's like a pika main or anything but he's a good enough player that him beating a uh, fire blaster's pikachu's goes to show that no one I mean, you can't just pull out pika and beat uh, so, so for, for hammerheart it's more speaking to the fact that he needs a breakout because of uh the way the meta is with his characters right now for him to move up he needs to break out in some way that yeah, people right. haven't been able to do with the characters yeah in the past well i guess they have with puff but i i've seen him as more of a, like a samus main so He's unless he like He's Unless also he... like in a Go bit ahead. of a character crisis because yeah. he uh, he sometimes he goes Mario, sometimes he goes DK. Like he doesn't really know, but yeah. I think he's been sticking with Samus for the most part, like mm. you said. Mm. All right, so combo blaze, Bart, move up ranked. On... Wait, you, I think I'm the only one. I asked. asked. Oh, okay. Oh, uh, so um, Hammerheart actually just messaged me and said he should be on the commentating thing of the rankings next stream. So if you guys are oh, down, is that what he wants? I'm okay we'll with that. We'll, we'll see if we have a slot I'm, I'm for okay him. with Hammerheart. And he said he's gonna spread propaganda about me using Pikachu. Oh, I mean, oh, no oh yeah, he's it's definitely. It's all there. Uh, oh, he's definitely recorded. allowed. He's definitely allowed. If he's gonna do that, I'll definitely. All right, uh, let's move on to. Right, so, so <laughs> okay, on, okay. We're on, we're on combo now. Yeah, yeah. we're on combo. Yes, talent move up. I don't. And I don't think he will. He just doesn't have. He doesn't really have the motivation to travel outside of like, you know, events that are really close to him. It's it's very it depends a lot on who he plays. I think he'll probably stay about the same. Yeah, I can I can see combo just dropping because he doesn't care, which is fine. You know, combo does what he wants to. Uh, low. Uh, the vibe I get from combo is that he's kind of just content with where he's at. So I imagine he'll probably be around there or go down if he doesn't like improve because you kind of have to improve to keep your ranking because there's going to be more players most likely. Right. right. I, ex I expect Combo to claim that he doesn't care and he's he's not trying to get better and whatever and then actually like get significantly better and maintain his rank. Wow. Okay. Interesting. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know about Combo. Combo doesn't know about himself. But it's, it's, it's hard to say with him. Hard to say. All right. Kimmy, Bart. Up, down, I mean, unranked. West Coast needs to get their uh, their crap together. Um, I think he has to. I think he has to break out in some way. I, I honestly, I think I'll probably see him. They're staying the same. Eh, he probably won't go down. He's already pretty low. Thinking about it, 
I expect him to stay the same. He'll go to like one or two West Coast events. He'll beat somebody that's not his brother. But I don't think he'll really be able to do enough. But people are learning Mario more too. Yeah. So I guess maybe he could reinvent himself, keep improving. Yeah. Yeah. But it's it's a tough one. I think he'll stay about the same. Low. Um, I have no idea where Kimi Mara is going to be next year. Just because it's all a matter of whether or not he attends stuff. If he goes to more stuff in, on the East Coast, he can definitely go up. But if he stays on the only on the West Coast and he goes to the, these types of tournaments where you don't get any like wins around your level, uh, but you also don't get any bad losses, you're going to either stay around the same level or go down. Mm. Uh, Robert? Yeah, I don't know, because he's so good, but <laughs> he's so good, but yeah, it seems like with this year, like, what is he going to do differently next year than what he did this year? Yeah, this is a really tough one. So, yeah, he'll keep getting good seeds and he'll keep beating the people he's supposed to. It's just a question if he can stop losing to the people he's supposed to lose to, and I don't know how that's going to happen. Yeah, I, I, I agree with Bark. Probably stay about the same. Yeah, I agree with Bark and you, uh, Robert. Um, all right, next on uh, Star I, I want to touch. This oh, is oh, going to be real okay. quick. Okay. Uh, I think part of this is an, it's not an issue with Waterfall. I mean, it's just something that's not solved by Waterfall. Is once you get to like his level, you you don't get more matches against people around that level. The Waterfall is for the like four down, you know, for Division Three, Division Two, Division Four. Once you get up to like Kimmy's level, you don't really get a lot more matches, so it's not easier to get more results. That's fair. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Yeah, it's true. It's All true. right, so next, Star King. Uh, Star King said, in caps, I'm going to probably drop because I'm only going to SmashCon. So, uh, Bark, what do you think? Unranked, move up, or he's only going to with SmashCon? That, with that attitude, he's, he's going to drop. He's capable of doing better, but I... He's probably going to experiment with some characters. Probably not going to attack much, so I see falling a bit. Low? Mm, I don't know. It, it, like I said, it depends on whether or not he goes to different stuff. Uh, the vibe I get from Star King, I don't know him. Never spoke to him. I get kind of the same vibe from him that I get from Lord Narwhal, where they try to act like they don't really care, but they actually do. Yeah. So it's like, if he goes to more stuff, I can see him like really trying. And then pro possibly going up. <laughs> SK is like unranked, not drop. So. Uh, uh, it, it, I also wonder. He always acts like he doesn't care. Like when you play. I, I also wonder whether or not he's gonna go like Kirby, or like Fox, and that'll determine a lot too. I, I never felt like Star King really was someone that was like really wanted to get better. Never got that vibe from him. Just uh, like wants to do things that are different than I don't he was know, doing before. Disagree, like, disagree, but disagree. not necessarily person, better than he was doing before. He definitely cares. He's the type of person like if you like say, oh, this person is like better than him, like you'll see him come out of the woodwork and be yeah, like, yeah, then he's like, oh wait, oh wait, what a minute, no, 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 hold <laughs> yeah, on, yeah, that is a What are you talking about? What are you talking about? Oh, that's yeah, how that's we get a, him that, out. That's true. That's true. That's how you get him out, Lo. He's like, yeah, I think I'm better than SK. Any tournament you go to, bring him in. Yeah, then then he'll try. Then. He'll like he, yeah, I remember he was months ago. He was telling me, okay, all Fox now, no more Kirby. I don't care about winning, all Fox. Then, of course, he kept going Kirby against me. I'm like, hey, Starking, you're, you're still going Kirby against me. What happened to that? He's like, okay, everyone but you, all Fox. Then he goes to Colorado, first tournament goes, <laughs> goes Kirby. 6 <laughs> <laughs> O's D10. It's 6 O's D10. <laughs> Oh man, you, you, you have to bait him out. Bait him out, low or Robert. I mean, I don't. He's I can't bait, bait him out. So. I don't know Star King, but once uh, D Tan starts staking sets off him, he'll be uh, he'll be a little more baited. <laughs> he's pretty baited. That, that's he's a, baited. Uh, that's if he starts taking. What, what do you guys think about that? You think D Tan's gonna start coming back and being well, D Tan seems really D good. D Tan's just a, a broke college kid. He, if he can, he'll start going to tournament. Can relate to being a broke college kid. All right. Oh wait, something to note though. Star King also beat D Tan's Pikachu, if I if I recall correctly. D Tan so. has a Pikachu. 
I mean, everyone has a Pikachu, right? Yeah, fair. Alrighty, let's uh, let's move on to Sheer Madness. Bart, up, down, no change, or unranked. I don't, I don't see him traveling enough to prove himself higher. I think he'll probably drop a little bit by virtue of more talent above him. Yeah. Not enough results. Yeah, I agree. Uh, he's, he's an adult. Um, I think he'll get better, um, but, but I don't think that necessarily translates into moving up with the rankings. I think he's the type of player that just wants to get better because he loves the game. And I, I think we'll keep seeing him playing online and grinding certain matchups out, but if it all matters if he attends or not. Yeah. I completely agree with Lo. He's gonna keep getting better. He's he's scary. He's always practicing while he's improving, but is that actually gonna show up in his ranking? God knows. God knows. Yeah. Who knows if grandpa's just gonna fall off his rocker one day, just never yeah. doing anything. Yeah. I kind of wish he was in chat, unfortunate. Uh, yeah, me too. Uh, next up, uh, CTG. Up, down, unranked. Bart? Um, I, I'm a little biased here. It's really hard for me to judge him because I, he just he struggles so much against me. Whereas I I feel like I have a, a much harder time with like Caesar and Shearman and SK and Yemi. So like, it's hard, it's hard to, for me to see him breaking away from from those guys and Robert and whatnot. Um, if he if he keeps traveling, he did kind of hint that he was wasn't going to travel as much. But um, I, I think he'll have to really keep traveling to stay where he is right now. Yeah. Yeah. He he made such a jump between his previous year and this year, but now that he's made that jump, he's in kind of a tough crowd among players that are. Are definitely gonna be a real challenge for him so that it's hard to say hey if, if he if he does what he did this year i mean he could definitely he did uh, almost beat the z so there's that yeah i mean if he you know stops losing a hipster and starts actually winning against you and z like he could he's definitely got room to grow yeah yeah i agree uh, i think he's also like not going to as much as well not, yeah this year that, that's that's what i i touched at the start he it sounded like he wasn't gonna, i didn't think he was going to g5 i thought he said hit stun was gonna be his last for for a while and then he's going to g5 now so i don't know no he actually said he he was gonna go to g5 like at hit stun oh, okay. he said that on the mic so yeah he probably just got it mixed up okay all right uh caesar up down unranked bark caesar ah uh, he's back man he, he's back i think he'll go i think he'll go up if he sticks with it. Um, I don't know why he went on hiatus, but um, he's he's only got up. I don't see him falling. Low? Um, I think he's going to go up just because now that uh, Joey's in New York also, they're going to be attending Nebs more. And when you go to like a local scene, you're just, you're going to be playing more Smash and you're going to want to attend stuff. And I think he'll probably end up going to more and play people that he can actually like play people around his level that he can beat for sure. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. Robert. I also yep. wonder, I'm sorry to cut you off. I also wonder whether or not he's going to just play Mario. If he's going to go Luigi, he kind of like flip flips back and forth with it. Uh, I think if he just sticks to one character and maybe pulls out Luigi for like puff or maybe Pika at times, then I think that'll be better for him. Cause yeah. Robert, I he's got, really, I got. He's I, really good. He's really good. Yeah. Uh, I got two things for you. Again, your opinion. Oh, yeah. So that uh, Caleb wants you to play your match. Just. Wait. Yeah, whatever. Just, we have to finish up the call. Yeah, we're going to finish this up first. He can wait. So up, down, unranked, Caesar? Oh, uh, I think he'll go up. He's yeah. so good. Yeah. If he keeps playing, if, keep, if he stays active, like. Oh, yeah. Like, remember him in, like, 2015? He's he's really good. No, oh, yeah, I agree. He, Caesar will go up. He's he's, he's really good. No, nothing nothing out of the ordinary there. All right, uh, this guy I guess. Bark, Robert, mm. up down, unranked. Dude, not gonna be ranked here. Ooh, uh, I, 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 I I think Robert did pretty well even despite not being super active near 
the end of the year. He, I don't think he went to any Nova locals. He went to live in Cali for like a month at some point. It was a really weird year for him, but... Yeah, I don't travel uh, that I, much. Yeah, I, um, Robert, Robert has plenty of room to go up, even with new talent being inserted above him. Yeah, uh, low, up, down, unranked. Um, I think he, Robert would probably either go, stay around where he's at, or go up. I don't see him going down. Yeah, we'll, we'll see what the year brings, but uh, I think I can probably at least maintain this level. If not, go up a little bit. That's it fair. depends on how many tournaments I actually go to. That's fair. I could, I could see if you attend more, you can move up. That's how I feel. Because you can do it, but you know, if you don't want to, that's fine. No, I I'm not think gonna. Like the thing, probably, the thing with I, I don't want to spend a lot of money to travel to events. The thing with Robert is, it's like he's very consistent, so he's not gonna like even if he only goes to a couple things, he's not gonna lose to like someone in like pools or like someone he shouldn't be losing to, and that's what's gonna keep him up. Yeah, yeah, I agree, agree completely. All right, uh, last but not least, Court Bart up, down, unranked. Court, if he doesn't work on uh, his matchup knowledge, he could actually fall a little bit. But um, he did fall already for a lack of activity, and that matchup knowledge hurt him more there. I think next year he'll learn a little more. Um, I see him sticking around. I kind of see him sticking around this this range though. It's it's he's not in a good region to pick up those matchups. It's kind of kind of reminds me of Shalaka, you know, where he can't brute force his way the way Alvin does against certain people like Fire Blaster, you know, just beat them by being a better player. Uh, Court's good, but he's not good enough to that to some people. He needs he needs to get out more, and I think that's what he's trying to do next year. Yeah. Low. No, I have no real opinion on whether or not Court will move up. Uh, I think if he attends more, probably like. Instead of just coming to two tournaments, if he comes to like three or four, I can see him going up because then he'll be able to get those wins versus the characters that he knows better. But um, it's all a matter of whether or not he attends stuff, just like with everyone else that's foreign. Yeah. Robert? Uh, it's it's hard because he's so good, but it, it's, it's so rough for him um, just having to travel to north america for any tournament for the actual ranking yeah it's uh I, I kind of feel like he was really overranked this year so if his rank this year had reflected his actual performance then i think i would have definitely expected him to move up as it actually was i feel like his rank this year reflected more how good he is than than his actual wins and losses so that makes it a little harder for him to, for him to move up but Eh, maybe he can go up a little bit. So, so a note to anyone watching this, uh, you'll notice about every single player we basically said if they travel, they'll get better. That's the way to get better, is to travel more. Mm. Yeah, it's just expensive. But play, yeah, play more people, or, you know, not necessarily, like, expensive travel, but just to the closest region, you know? If you have that half, you know, hour and a half drive you have to make, then, yeah. then do it. it. Yeah. It also it's also very dependent on which kind of tournament you go to. Like I didn't go to SmashCon or Genesis, but I got to play people like Fire Blaster, Fyro, KD3, all these good players. And like if you go to those type of tournaments, you're gonna have more opportunity because in the other ones you're just you're gonna get you're gonna beat the people you need to beat, but you're not gonna get any like great wins, great great wins. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Yep, I agree. Uh, I think that's gonna wrap it up for tonight. Uh, Dark will probably spoil me and send me the next batch if I ask him. Uh, very, very spicy stuff. I w this one was pretty spicy too when I looked at it. Uh, I think we're going to see a debate over our boy Lo somewhere around there, but it's just a matter of where he will be. So Yeah, Lo I and mean, KD3. KD3. I'm KD3. fine. My cutoff was 35. Well, actually 32, but I don't even care. Um... Well, Robert, you're going to join me tomorrow. I don't know uh, uh, if you will, Bark, or if Lo will, or... I'll be on Baltimore. I might be busy tomorrow. We'll see. I might be busy, to be honest. 
MK. Might have to get some. We'll see. Super is gonna be doing it by himself. <laughs> it's, hey, it's just. You me. Get Dark Horse on there. Get Jam Jar. Yeah, oh, yeah. You gotta Star. have. I, I want to be on there when Jam Jar is on. Jason's There's gonna a... be running the weekly yeah. too. Oh, There's a slight okay. chance I can make it, but uh, okay. I'm not gonna make any promises. I, I can. I can get. I can get people. I, I kind of don't want to be on yep, tomorrow pray, anyways, pray. just because I'm going to be on there. Yeah, I could definitely... What about Zero? Can you get Zero on there? Uh, oh, he, he cannot talk right now. Ah. His yeah, he had like, surgery on yeah. his tonsils. Oh, he's... Okay. I mean, he could talk, but it's actually, like, not really talking. Like he his bag, yeah, funny. okay, yeah. <laughs> Frey says yeah, he yeah. sounds like a horse. But yeah, let's gonna, <laughs> let's gonna wrap it up. Tomorrow, uh, expect me, expect Jam Jar. I'm definitely gonna get Jam Jar, Jam Jar in here, and then I'll round some other, some other two people up. Whoever wants to, to join me. So yeah, thanks everybody for watching. Bark, thanks for coming around. Uh, oh, thanks for having me. Uh, unfortunate that you didn't make rankings this year. I guess this Brody guy probably did. Uh, who, uh, I don't, I don't know, man. I think he would have been ranked by now. I'm <laughs> being put at the next page it's a shame he's pretty good yeah it's, it's real didn't shame. go to enough events mm, yeah yeah it's well, unfortunate it's always a problem unfortunate all right see you guys all right see ya